welcome back to my channel as you can see by the title today's video is going to be about ic hair review i already made a part one but in part one i never put the hair on i just did like an unboxing so now that i actually installed the hair i'm gonna give you guys a review on how i like it don't like it all that good stuff so one thing i want to say this is my first time installing a wig on my head. This is the first this is the first time I actually used glue too. And from watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos, I felt like it was easy. One thing I say that the lace was one pro about it was that the lace was very thin and it was easy to like lay down. It took the glue real nice. And and as you can see, like I feel like it blended out really good. I didn't have to put no um foundation or no concealer or anything on the lace, even though I feel like I should have so it could blend more in with my skin. But yeah, I feel like it came out good so far. And um don't mind the um glue residue because we're in quarantine right now and there's no ninety percent alcohol anywhere. So I use a whole bunch of seventy percent water, everything. To try to clean up the edges as much as I can or whatever so yeah this is the lace natural color I did bleach the knots this is the color the wig cap I have on under it is like my skin complexion so it's like the color coffee I have it right here is this one I have on so that's why I probably didn't yeah I think that's why I didn't put no like foundation or concealer or anything on it because I had on the, um, a brown wig cap and it was basically like close to my complexion or oh, whatever. The hair is very soft still. After I done, I didn't fully wash it. I cold washed it. When I put the bleach in for the knot, I rinsed it out and then I just like put um, deep conditioner on it and I rinsed it out. It was still soft. It had no tangling. It did shed like a little bit, maybe like a few strands here and there. It took to heat very good. I My flat iron goes all the way up to like 400. It took the heat very good. It wasn't really no shedding and flattening it. Um, One thing I forgot to mention is that I installed the hair in my head yesterday. So, I, so far it's been in my head for two days. Um, I slept with it put a bonnet on i didn't like wrap it or nothing but i did bump it yesterday so today all i did was just wake up and comb it i should have bumped it but i just felt like you should see it in its natural state instead of trying to make it look pretty this is like how it is basically after i flattened it yesterday i feel like good weave you shouldn't really have to flatten every day because it just shouldn't but yeah i like the hair so far it's really good it's easy to deal with closer this is it up close like it blends really nice like it really blends real real nice really 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 nice yeah um as i mentioned in the video before this is a 12 inch wig i wouldn't say it's blunt cut but you could tell like like somebody went and cut it in because i kind of like that it looks like it looks clean like it's a freshly you know how you, when you get like a perm or whatever you get your hair freshly cut this is what it looked like it got, it got that like fresh cut look like it looked like it's healthy it has that healthy look although it's not a blunt cut which is good because i kind of don't like blunt bobs because that's the look i was going for was a bob or whatever but yeah so far i like the the hair the um I like her like this. And then I'm not really a bob person, but everybody kept telling me to do a bob. But now that I think about it, this is how my hair looks when it's straightened. Like this is exact probably this is probably the exact length of my hair after getting it cut. So it kinda looks like it's my natural hair. Looks like my natural hairstyle I used to wear when I was younger. But overall I do like the hair. Um, it came pre-plugged. I didn't go ahead and plug it because I feel like once you wear it and comb it and brush it a lot, the hair starts to fall out anyway. So I left it how it was. Like, it was already pre-plugged. 
I have full edges, so my edges don't look thin at all, so I just left it the way it is. I already know what else to say. Like, this hair was really good. I like the hair. The um customer service was really good. Like, the person, the day I actually got it, the person wrote me and said, Hey, it says that your package was delivered. Did you receive your package? She checked up on me. And that's all I did receive it. And she asked me about the hair and to give a review. Or oh, whatever. Um, It took like... I ordered this hair during quarantine. So the hair took like a week. But I feel like it would have took probably like three days. Or whatever. Because usually when I order hair from AliExpress, it takes like a few days. It doesn't really take a week. It always takes like it takes like five days the most but yeah it took like a week a week and a half i think for the hair to come the hair is nice and soft still I, like i said i haven't really washed it all i did was deep condition it the hair is really soft see it's easy to run your hand no tangling or nothing like i really like this hair like even when i bought it like the reviews was good like i really like this like this is really good this is good quality hair for the price and i think how much i paid for this for 12 inches i think i only paid like 90 something like this is good i like it i feel like i could keep reusing it and it's going to last me a good amount of time Whatever. it's easy to comb through it's easy to brush easy to style oh it holds curls is very good because i was trying to um <laughs> I was like playing in the hair to try to style it. I was trying to do like I was curling it with like a flat iron and then I kind of messed up because I stopped and I almost dropped my phone. So like I curled it midway and then when I went back to like finish it had like it had like one of those little curls but it was like if I could explain it, it was like a curl but then the rest of it was straight. So it was like that and I'm just like oh it holds the curl good. And then when I tried to flatten it back out, it was like I had it. It took like a good three, four pass of the flat iron to get it straight again. Whatever. So, yes, it does hold the curl. As you can see, it kind of still got the little wave in it from the curl I did. So, yeah. Oh, and when I wet the hair, it came out like a wavy look. This is supposed to be straight hair. This is for, yeah, but when you wet it or whatever, it has like a natural wave, like a body wave effect to it, kind of. But yeah, I like the hair. If anything, I give, I actually, no lie, I'll give the hair like a five star review because there was no problem with the hair. Honestly, like it didn't come with a smell. I feel like, I mean, with shedding, I feel like all hair sheds, the hair in your head sheds. Like, hair's going to shed regardless. Nothing is perfect. So, like, shedding doesn't bother me. As long as it's not, like, massive shedding, it's no problem. But the hair don't really shed, like, no. It doesn't really shed. The communication was great. The hair quality is great. I'm able to part it any way I want. I did a side part because I don't like middle parts on me, really. But, like, yeah, the hair is really good. I really like it. I would definitely order from them again. I really like this company. I will recommend it. Like, do you see this? I'm feeling this. This is with no foundation, no nothing on it. This is just like I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Like, you see, this is, this is giving me like beach vibes. Like, I love this hair. I would definitely order from them again. Definitely order from them again. So I think that's all I have to say for this video. There wasn't really much to say. There was no cons, really but um matter of fact it's not really a con or a pro but one thing i did notice i'm someone who has like a lot of hair and my hair is very very thick 
like I have 4C hair. And then I have braids in my head. I did the um, Meek Millie braids. Meek Mill braids straight back. I wouldn't say they tiny, but I wanna say the braids is big. But I, as I mentioned before, this is my first actual wig because all the wigs that I, I've worn was made by me. So this is a first professional wig I actually had on. So I wasn't really sure how it was supposed to fit. But when I first bought it and tried it on, the wig from, so I'm so used to watching like other people who do wigs and YouTube videos. So I'm used to seeing the, um, the lace closure like come like past the air and people cut out the air. For this one, I didn't have to cut out the air because the air shape was like, let me see if I can find one. The air shape is already cut out. So yeah, the air shape was already cut out. So that wasn't a problem for me. The only thing I had to cut was like the little front lace that was like right here for you to glue down. And then I guess that made it easier, be easier because I didn't have to like shape out my air or anything. And I, to me, that made me think that the wig wasn't going to fit because I thought it was supposed to be more snug. But it was an average size cap. It was a 22, was it, with circumference, whatever. And um, that's the actual size of my head when I measured it. It's 22. So it's in the um, questionnaires, it says it's able to fit all types of head, average heads. But like I said, with my braids, it was kind of like... I don't know exactly how it's supposed to fit, but it was fitting like a little weird. But once I actually went ahead and glued it down and like pinned up the back, it actually fit like it fits real nice. And I have it on like the loosest, um, the loosest adjustable strap. I don't know what you call it. And I could actually make it tighter so that, so actually I, I feel like it can be good for big heads because it could fit my mom head also. My mom head is bigger than mine's. So like I, I could actually adjust it. Like it could be more snatched like that. So I need to go back in and adjust it. Only left it loose because I wasn't really sure how is it gonna fit. But like I said, it's my first time laying on the wig. It was very easy to lay. I didn't have no problems with laying the hair. Like once I like stuck it to the glue, it stuck. The, it melted real nice into my skin. Like there's no concealer, there's no foundation or nothing on it. The hair is good. It has a little bit of flyaways, but that's nothing like some mousse or something that could be fixed. Like I said, I didn't put nothing in the hair. All I did was like deep condition it, let it air dry, and then I just went and flattened it last night. And then with this video, all I did was take off the bonnet, brush it, comb it, and that was it. I didn't really like put nothing in it to hold the flyaways. But yeah. I really recommend this hair. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification. Drop what you think about this hair. Put your comment. Put your little opinions. Tell me what you think if you like it. Or if I should make any other video. Give me suggestions. Yeah. I, like I said, I give this star. I mean, I give this hair a five star review. This is not a paid um, video, so everything I said to you is true. I wouldn't lie to you. I would be honest. But, yeah. I recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys.